We just heard a little bit of their latest single, What You Wearing. So let's talk about this latest single. It's kind of fun and upbeat. Is that when you're putting together music and writing, do you do you like these upbeat songs that people can listen to and dance to? Obviously, you guys have fun performing. Oh, them. definitely. Yeah, we have quite a few songs on our new album coming out that are yeah, the little cute upbeat, really really <laughs> danceable songs. Yeah. So yeah, we like doing those ones. Yeah, for sure. And I want to talk a little bit of how you guys came together. Uh, Jackie, you weren't actually originally with the group. You kind of met no. met them through. Uh, uh, I was actually living in northern BC and these guys came up with their other band and so they did a radio contest for a female vocalist to sing a duet with them and I ended up winning that radio contest and we kept in contact after that and here we are. Oh, that's a great story. And now, Sean, you, uh, you've actually worked um, recently, your, the last single you worked with Carly Rae Jepsen on. So I guess for me, I kind of think that makes country music has kind of become more universal now. I mean, Carly Rae Jepsen is a very popular pop artist, so do you think there's no real boundaries with country anymore? More than ever, absolutely. It's to there's absolutely no boundaries. I think that's what's exciting about it, you know? And writing, going to her and writing with her um, it was proof of that. It was a lot of fun, and she's definitely not a country artist. She's a completely pop, folky artist, or whatever you want to call it, right? And uh, yeah, so I agree with that's That's what's exciting about it. We can bring some rock and roll em element to it. We can bring, uh, you know, even some jazzy elements, some bluegrass, so yes, I agree. But that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and when writing music, is there some? Is there any anyone you take inspiration from in, in your work? Well, top of my mind is the Eagles. We're huge Eagles fans. Uh, and everybody, you know, Johnny Cash is another one. We even covered a Johnny Cash song on the CD. Um, and rock artists, folk artists, all kinds, for sure, yeah. Absolutely, and you're going on the road this summer, touring this summer. What's the best part for you guys being on the road? Just playing live, seeing the audience, seeing their reaction, feeding off their energy. And coming to places like today, to southern Alberta, where I like to think we're a pretty big country country area, um, do you find you're picking up new fans all the time on the road? Every day. We're, like Twitter, Facebook, it's just exploded for us. It's, yeah. We're very grateful for all this stuff that you guys do. If someone wants to follow you on Twitter, where, where can they find you? Uh, the Me and May Band on Facebook, Twitter, meandmay.com. We're on Reverb Nation. So. Perfect. And lastly, I want to talk a little bit about songwriting a little bit more. You, you kind of have an interesting partnership, you two, in songwriting. How does that work? Out? Yeah, when we, when we started working out, uh, Sean never approached me to do songwriting because I'm actually an English major. And so one day in practice, Sean's like, oh man, I just, I just don't want to, I don't feel these lyrics like I'm not a lyricist. And I'm like, I can write lyrics. That's what I do. And so Sean does the melody and we, we get into the roots of the song and then I layer my lyrics on top. And yeah, it's been a really strong songwriting team. We ended up writing half the album together. And there was no intention of that in the beginning. It was just, wow, she's a great singer. Come and join our band. And, and I was working with outside writers. And it looks like at this point, we don't really need to do that. We're, we're going to keep an open mind. You know, we just wrote with an outside writer, possibly for, the, you know, for newer stuff down the road. But uh, that was a big surprise. That was really cool. Yeah. When can we watch out for that album? Uh, it drops May 13th on iTunes and in stores, and we'd like to thank Cordova Bay Records for picking us up. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you having coming Thanks out and talking. Us. Yes, absolutely. Here's another look at me and May's What You Wearing. You know you drive me crazy when you tell me I'm a 